Eli Burgett out here at Cedarville University, where advancements in engineering education are top of mind, now more so than ever. The university, along with 80 other institutions across the country, will be sharing a $17.7 million investment to expand semiconductor production education. Important for our students. We've had uh, an electrical engineering program since 1990, and computer engineering came along right around uh, 2006 to support our students with the options that they'll have because of what Intel is doing here. After years of outsourcing to other countries, companies like Intel are hoping to bring semiconductor production back to the U.S. You may remember the University of Dayton receiving funding for their programs in September, and now Cedarville is joining in with Intel's education grant program, OASIS. Dr. Robert Chasnoff, Dean of the School of Engineering and Computer Science at Cedarville University, says that Intel is hoping to instill manufacturing education at the ground level. Well, Intel has uh, provided monies to the universities broadly, uh, including the community colleges. They're looking for technicians as well as engineers. They're looking for people at all levels. Governor DeWine, along with many other state and federal officials, has stated many times that the goal is to not only train workers in Ohio, but also to employ them here. Dr. Chasnoff says that with Cedarville being just over an hour drive away from the $20 billion Intel plant in Licking County, their students will have plenty of job opportunities after graduation. But more importantly, that uh, career staying in the state of Ohio uh, the things that uh, our governor has uh, impressed upon us as the deans of engineering schools uh, are going to be important for our students to get uh, really good jobs that they'll be uh, using for their future. As for next steps, Cedarville will begin making plans to expand their current on-campus engineering facilities once they receive funding from Intel.